Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about five eco hacks that will also help you save money. There is a big misconception that within the low waste slash zero waste movement that you have to be wealthy in order to have all these things because it's kind of pushed on you to own a bunch of reusables and like glassed up and stainless steel and all these different zero waste marketed products that cost a lot of money. Also, as a disclaimer, you absolutely do not have to have any of these things to practice low waste and you don't have to do any of these things to be a good person. I don't want anybody to think that their individual consumption is the major problem when the vast, 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 vast majority of climate issues we face are because of large corporations. I also understand that some single-use products are more helpful than zero waste products for certain people, like people with disabilities. There are lots of different nuances within here that have made the movement unfriendly to all sorts of people and I don't want to add to that. So here's just some ideas, take them or don't. All right, number one is gonna be stop buying things in general, and this is what I mean, uh, overconsumption. That is different for every person. It might be that you stop participating in fast fashion as much or entirely. You kind of just go shopping for things that you don't need. You really recognize the difference between want and need. It makes less demand for those particular products, lessening the footprint, and of course, lessening the amount of money that you pay for them. Number two is going to be buy used things. If you really do need to buy something, maybe look for used first on some place like Facebook Marketplace, OfferUp, Depop, something like that, and then of course for stores. Most often you're buying the same exact thing with very minimal wear and tear on it that will get the same life just as if you were to buy it brand new. It's also helping save products from landfills, shopping at places like thrift stores and then overstock places and even just the clearance racks at stores because most of the time the next step is trash. All right, number three is going to be repurposing. If you see my other videos, you may know that I like to buy things that have many different uses as a minimalist because I just don't want to own too many things. When I buy something, I want it to be useful for just more than one task minimum. <laughs> uh, sometimes that doesn't always work out, but I try. And then of course, in the reduce, reuse, recycle, away purpose, if you use something, even if it's a single use plastic object and you can find a way to use it again before you recycle it or before you throw it away, even that is a little bit better. So you can make a single use something relatively reusable for a certain amount of time. You can wash out Ziploc bags, you can uh, refill plastic water bottles, like you don't have to throw them away immediately. And I know that sounds obvious but most people don't do it all right next is obvious though but reusables of course buying a reusable thing once is less expensive in the long run from buying it over and over and over again from buying packs of napkins and packs of ziploc bags and like parchment paper rather than like a silicone mat um over and over and over and over again will eventually cost a lot more than if you just bought the one package of reusable ziploc bags or the one silicone mat or the one fancy metal water bottle, something like that. Of course, this is where it gets into that. It's, it looks a little bit unattainable territory, but if you want to or are able to feel comfortable to, I think that it is a good route to take. And also as another tip within there, most things offer a reusable version these days, things that you wouldn't expect. If you're buying something online, why not just tack the word reusable on there and see what pops up. Today, actually, just as a personal example, I was looking up puppy pads online. I've got an elderly cat and she's having a little trouble making it to the bathroom um, at this stage in her life. So I wanted to get some puppy pads or something and then I just typed reusable on the end and there's tons of reusable puppy pads I had no idea. Um, kind of makes sense, but yeah. And then lastly, this is what they teach you in school, right? To make you feel like you're the problem, but less utility consumption. So this is gonna be like running the air conditioning a little bit less, taking shorter showers, turning off lights when you exit a room, just really easy peasy things that everybody knows but does make a little bit of a discount on your bill at the end of the month. It's something that I do here. But we really try to reduce our main problem is the air conditioning, but we live in Florida and it's the summer, so. We're doing our best. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that these tips were helpful to you in some way. As always, please check out the links in the description. There's information on my Patreon as well as my other social media sites. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.